breakdown of uh, incompatibilidade di genius, João Bosco. Okay, so uh, I have taken uh, a few liberties with the chords in order to try and get the melody uh, on top of the, the chords. Huh? So I do apologize, huh? uh, but I'll try to, to explain where I've taken some liberties. Okay, so I think that this is a, a very distinctive chord actually that everybody would recognize at the beginning of the song, which is an A minor uh, seventh with a ninth. Uh, you can see it. Okay, it's a lovely chord, and uh, okay, so the melody is playing on top of this uh, lovely chord, and then I move to D minor seven. So I move from, and this is a. I use a D minor 7 with a flat 5. Huh? Uh, the song actually uses an F something, a variation on F minor 7, but I found that this was quite a nice slide up to, uh, to, to something quite similar, I find. Huh? Okay, so I'll play again. It's easier to play it with these two fingers actually because the second verse I do a little trick here. I do a, and I add a, a nice little melody here. Okay, which I think has adds a nice touch. Huh? So I've added this chord, which is an A, this is an A uh, sharp with a 6, with a flattened 9th, huh? okay, so, okay, but I'm using this as almost an excuse actually to have that melody, that solar, huh? uh, and it works with that melody, so. And same thing here actually, I've got this diminished chord which seems to work quite well, uh, you know, G sharp diminished with, with the melody that I'm trying to keep uh, on top of the chords. Huh? And I end on an A minor seventh, except I, I switch to this uh, beautiful chord actually, which is uh, like in uh, a C six, uh, with a major seventh, or if you if you want to look at it as an A minor, uh, it's an A minor with uh, the the third on the bass and uh, a ninth uh, added. Huh? So it depends how you want to look at it. You can you could look at it this way actually, like an A minor with an add, added ninth. But actually, this C uh, is really very beautiful. It's, uh, this reminds me a little bit of this uh, C6 with a ninth, huh? okay? But uh, this time it's, uh, uh, it's a C6, if you want, with a major seventh, rather, which I guess... Yes, it does sound a bit like it, huh? but without the ninth. Okay, so... And then we go to this chord, which is uh, I see as a C seventh actually with a, a flattened fifth. Uh, the G is the fifth here. And then I go to a kind of F uh, six, okay? V very strongly a six because you've got two Ds, huh? And I do some variations on that F. And then this is a B minor seventh with a flat uh, five. Okay, you would recognize it. You know. Except I slide it three times, you know. 
Okay, just for to to add interest, really. I could have stayed on on the chord. Because the song ends on a sort of variations on an E seventh chord. So what I do is. So I'm taking liberties with even the melody. And then back to the beginning. And then I finish the song on uh, you know okay so just to so I tried several things actually and this this seems to work I tried to do octaves but I didn't think it worked as well as... And we finished the song on, on that uh, sort of very short line. Huh? Okay, so there you are. Incompatibilidad... I, I wish I could say it. Huh? Incompatibilidad de genius. Uh, Joao Bosco. Huh? Good luck.